friends, welcome to another social and emotional lesson. I'm happy that you're here with me today and I hope you enjoy this lesson. We're gonna look at a couple friends today. Um, this is Shin. Let's turn this a little bit. This is Shin over here and this is Bethany. And Bethany is playing over here with the Play-Doh, which is super fun. And um, she's having fun making little animals. Bethany notices that Shin is standing nearby and he's watching her and the children at the Play-Doh table. There's room at the table for Shin though. Should Bethany invite Shin to play? Yeah, she should, huh? She could ask him. What do you think Bethany could say to invite him to join the children at the Play-Doh table? What do you think she could say? Yeah, she could say, um, would you like to make Play-Doh animals? Come join us. Or would you like to play with us? Or anything like that, right? Yeah. Um, Bethany decides to ask Shin to come and play with the Play-Doh. In a friendly voice, Bethany says, want to make some Play-Doh animals too? Some of the fun, see the funny one I made? Come and join us. How do you think Shin might feel if he's invited to join in the Play-Doh activity? How do you think that makes Shin feel? Yeah, he would, that, I think that would make him feel welcomed. He would feel happy and um, like somebody was being friendly with him. What wouldn't they? that he would feel included. Shin joins the Play-Doh activity and Bethany is happy she invited him to join. Everyone laughs and smiles. They have fun making little animals. Inviting others to play um, helps everyone feel part of your art class. And it's also, <coughs> excuse me, it's also a good way to make friends. Okay, so, um, yeah, <laughs> that's our lesson for today, guys. So I will see you again next time. Bye.